Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He hears to, to those who trust in His ways. We, the daughters and sons of Him, who built the valleys and plains, praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sings. Pray, glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His ways. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. So, uh, I guess you're stuck with me for the next two weeks. Uh, Father Mark is away. Uh, so, it's like the parent is away, so I'm the nanny. So, I'm going to take good care of you this, this, this two weeks. And uh, also, we don't have uh, Catherine today, so it's just me and Cesar. Uh, so, again, we're going to do this um, uh, a, a more like a monastic uh, style of Mass, wherein we will have more silence, okay? And uh, as I've said, uh, God could speak in the silence of our hearts, and as we have that, long, that longing and also pandering the Word, uh, this, this, could be a, 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 this Mass could be as good as the other Masses where, where we have a lot of singing. So brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and, have and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray encompass your family with perpetual help so that defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Iconium, Paul and Barnabas spoke in such a way that a great number of both Jews and Greeks became believers. But their residents of the city were divided, so that when an attempt was made by both Gentiles and Jews, Jews with their rulers to mistreat them and to stone them, the apostles learned of it and fled to Ly Lystra and Derbe, cities of Laconia, and to the surrounding country. And there they continued to proclaim the good news. In Lystra, there was a man sitting who could not use his feet and had never walked, for he had been crippled from birth. He listened to Paul as he was speaking, and Paul, looking at him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said in a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And the, the man sprang up and began to walk. When the crowd saw that what Paul had done, they shouted in Laconian language, The gods have come down to us in a human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus whose temple was just outside the city, brought oxen and gar garlands to the gates 
he and the crowds wanted to offer a sacrifice. When the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of it, they tore their clothes and rushed out in, into the crowd, shouting, Friends, why are you doing this? We are mortals just like you, and we brought you good news that you should turn from these worthless things to the living God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. In past generation, God allowed all the nations to follow their own ways, yet he has not left himself without a witness in doing good, giving you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and filling you with food and your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. To the psalm we will respond, not to us, O Lord, but to your name, give, it, give, give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name, give glory. For the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness, why should the nation say, where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give glory. Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to human beings. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. During the supper, Jesus said to his disciples, They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father and I will, lo will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in our first reading today, it says here that Paul and Barnabas, they were going to, uh, to, to, uh, they were going to a temple and, and, they saw, and they saw a man sitting uh, on, the, on the roadside and this man could not use his feet and had never walked for he had been crippled from birth. And Paul saw that there was a faith in, in, in this man as, as, as this man was listening to him he said, stand upright on your feet. And the man sprang up and began to walk. So could you just see the commotion that happened? This, this crippled person who was crippled from birth, his family, friends, knew about his condition from birth. And he's there, I assume he was begging. People would pass by and every day, day in and day out, they saw this crippled person there. And after the healing that happened, a lot of people were just surprised. 
they, they, they saw a supernatural thing happen. That's why they thought that the gods became man. They thought that, they thought that the, the gods became Paul and Barnabas. And you see here how Paul and Barnabas, they were able to lead these people to God himself. It says here, uh, he says here, friends, why are you doing this? We are mortals just like you. And we bring you good news that you should turn from these worthless things to the living God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. For me, uh, uh, I've been, uh, I would attend like uh, healing services. And for me, uh, it's always an, uh, uh, it's always a astonishes me whenever I see a physical healing happen. A man from the wheelchair started walking. A man blind regaining sight. You know, a man deaf started to hear. It just amazes me. You know, it builds up the faith. And uh, as much as physical healing is very important, there's also a kind of healing that is also very important. And that is the healing of the soul, the healing of relationship. For me, it amazes me also whenever I see a married couples, like their, their, their relationship, their marriage are on the rocks, on the brink of separation. And then they encounter the Lord and the Lord transformed their relationship. It amazes me whenever I see an alcoholic, okay, who, who, who used to live a miserable life, had, encount, had an encounter with God. And by that, he fully recovered from, 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 from the addiction. And now is living a transformed life. Okay? Or, 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 or a person living in sin had a, had a conversion and right now is, is on fire for the love of God and also for the salvation of people. Those kinds of healing is also very important. It amazes me. And so think about the miracles because whenever, we, we, whenever people witness miracles, it's an opportunity for us to bring people to the Lord. Okay? And so what are the miracles that happen in your life? Give that as a testimony to people because by your testimony, you will bring them to God. And you are a more credible witness because you share the same struggle as them. But now, because the Lord has transformed you, the Lord has healed you, you now carry the message of hope to them. You share the same problem, but right now you're, you're offering a solution. You're carrying a message of hope. Okay? And, and you're gi giving, uh, given an opportunity to bring many souls to the Lord. And maybe you would think that, oh, uh, 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 I didn't experience any miracle from the Lord. Uh, but if, e even if you haven't experienced like big miracles in your life, just by your disposition in your life, in the midst of trials and difficulties, you experience peace, joy, and love. That's already a miracle. Because a lot, a lot of people are struggling, especially right now with the pandemic. A lot of people are experiencing fear, anxiety. And when they see that peace in you, that joy, that freedom, you have an opportunity to share to them the reason for that. And you're able to, to bring them to the Lord. Because the Lord is the miracle worker. I, I, if you, you, you could go to YouTube and, and, and type this song, search for this song, Waymaker. Beautiful song. And it says there that God is a miracle worker. And that's His nature. You know, He performs miracles. He gives life to those who are dead. He gives healing to those who are, who are wounded. He gives freedom to those who are in bondage. So we're given this opportunity to bring these people to the Lord who is the miracle worker. And when we give our testimony to them, what we're saying is that, you know, we give glory to God, but what we're saying also when we give our testimony is that, Lord, do it again. Do it again to these people. What you have done in my life, do it again to these people and perform miracles to them. And by that, 
you will see many people turning, turning, turning back to the Lord. With confidence, let us now raise our hearts to God, the Father who guides us through His Word. That a church may live the spirit of the gospel and seek God's will in her ministry of service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may all work for justice and human dignity, especially for the weak and the poor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may support and uplift one another with the love and gentleness which the Lord has shown us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit may find complete healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enter the place Christ has prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, for all the souls in purgatory uh, offered by Claude and Ida Bouchard. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, hear our prayers and open, open our hearts to welcome and love our needy brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God. be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord may the accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for, the for the praise and, and glory of his name, for our good, good and good and of all the good of the church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. And by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy. Every land, every people, exalt, sing in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Terence, our, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this, of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God, God rebuke, rebuke him, him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, Prince, Prince of the Heavenly Host, host by, by the power of God, God cast, cast into hell Satan and, and all the evil spirits, spirits who prowl through, through the world, world seeking the ruin, ruin of souls. souls. Amen. Regina Celi, letare, alleluia. Quia que meruisti portare, alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, alleluia. Ora pro nobis deum, alleluia.